Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live, at least I think so, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've never joined us here before, first of all, thank you for joining us. We'll talk more about your forecast into the first weekend of November 2017. And as we go into the rest of the forecast, things are again looking very much on the quiet side. More or less for now. We do have some changes coming up. We'll talk about that in a little bit. More of our weather forecast here at WREG.com slash weather. Social media information here, up there on the phone, just between there and the web address over there on the screen. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast, here's what it looks like right here in the blue bar scrolling past on the bottom section of your screen. Join us again for a complete forecast update. Nina Harrelson and myself on air right now with News Channel 3 Daybreak. And if you'd like to see a little bit more about what's going on, you can join us for a complete update going on throughout the course of the morning hours for right now. Currently in the Mid-South, let's go ahead and get started with one of our weather bug cameras as we usually do. Again, showing the area around the Mid-South pretty much on the quiet side, although you do have some more clouds out there into the background. So we do see again the potential for more areas of showers into the Mid-South and going to continue to see that throughout the course of the rest of the day with more clouds coming our way. Radar at this time does show again a little bit of activity for right now. Doesn't look like much at this time, but again, it will be increasing throughout the course of the rest of the day. Going to bring this up full screen for our Facebook users at this time and show you that the heaviest activity that we've got into and around the Mid-South, into around Eastern Arkansas, Hughes, Mariana picking up again some decent showers at this point. Uh, that's about the heaviest activity that we have so far and that's what we're going to be seeing again. Uh, the best showers there, but those could be moving into or over the Mississippi River toward around southwestern Shelby County within the course of the rest of the area more chances of showers, especially around Helena, West Helena in Arkansas, and most of the activity again from here pretty much on the quiet side. We do not have any signs of lightning taking place, but we will be watching for the potential of more areas of thunderstorms coming up later on today, especially tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Could be the potential of, again, some thunderstorms out there that could be severe, especially as we go uh, into very early tomorrow morning. So that is where we see some problems, and not here in the Mid-South, but back to our North. That's going to be the main thing that we're going to be looking at as we go into the rest of the day for tomorrow. So stay tuned for some more information on that and we'll keep you updated there. What else is going on across the Mid-South? Well, as of right now, satellite radar composite is again showing the again the areas of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and creating those showers into around portions of the area. But this is where we are continuing again to see the potential of more of this activity developing. More showers out there throughout the rest of the day. Very warm, very muggy conditions across much of the Mid-South. So if you have any plans for being outdoors, Please keep that in mind and again take the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side. We'll be seeing more of that activity again throughout the rest of the day and the possibility of maybe some more severe weather back to our north. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Currently in the mid-south area and especially back to around Little Rock, we've got some pretty good amounts of fog out there this morning. That's where we're seeing again the heaviest activity when it comes to fog out there. But here in the Mid-South, some parts of the area are not getting any fog whatsoever. A few clouds out there. Julia Cavallo, welcome from Walls, Mississippi. Thanks for stopping on by. And again, you just saw our Germantown camera with some of those clouds popping up into the background there. So a little bit more activity going on. Current River Center in Donovan, Missouri. A little bit more cloudy, a little bit more foggy up that direction. And we'll continue to see some of that fog out there. Visibility in parts of the Mid-South uh, below one quarter mile around Corinth. That's about the worst of the worst so far. One quarter mile reported around the area close to Jackson, Tennessee, and in the boot heel around Kennett Airport. That's where we're seeing, again, some pretty uh, heavy amounts of fog there as well. So visibility in some locations near zero. Corning in Arkansas, back to around Henry at the Paris-Henry County Airport. Visibility at Memphis International, not showing up too badly. Uh, Ten mile visibility here, so not a problem at that location. All this blue that you see up here in the northern part of Canada, all that is going to be making its way on down into the United States over the next several days. So we will be seeing some cooler air. In the meantime, we are stuck in all this very warm, moist air sitting in and around portions of the Mid-South, and that's doing a very good job of keeping things warm and, again, very humid and also ripe for the possibility of thunderstorms, those winds making their way right up the Mississippi Valley and doing a very good job of keeping things very much on the very
very humid and heavy side. It feels, again, decently cool this morning, but it is a little bit on the warm side out there as well. Warmer than what we could be for this time of the year. Dense fog advisory, not for the metro area, east Arkansas or northwest Mississippi, mainly for nor extreme northeast Arkansas, the boot heel, back into around west Tennessee and northeast Mississippi. And as we just showed you a little while ago, some of those visibilities out there rather on the low side and will continue to be that way throughout the rest of the morning. So please mind that. Next couple of days, as an area of low pressure gears up and heads back to the north of us, it's going to be kicking up a pretty good potential of stronger weather. And then that front decides to kind of settle right on down across the Mid-South and decides to not leave for a while. So that could be giving us, again, some potential problems out across much of the Mid-South area into the course of the next couple of days. Mainly what we're going to be looking for is going to be the possibility of, again, the heavier amounts of rainfall and the possibility of thunderstorms coming up as we get into and around the area of next week. Starting Monday, going through Tuesday and into Wednesday, that's going to be the main thing out there that we see for parts of the Mid-South, keeping, again, some very warm temperatures into today. Numbers back in the high 70s to lower 80s. Chances of rainfall sticking around but leaving the area as we go into later on this afternoon and into this evening. Rainfall chances tonight basically gone. Lows not that low, only in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. For Sunday, high temperatures again about 80 degrees. Chances of rain not for the afternoon, but as we get into the evening hours, more showers and thunderstorms make their way into the Mid-South. And by Monday morning, could be again scattered showers and thunderstorms across much of the Mid-South area with high temperatures back in the high 60s to around the lower 70s. So very much on the warm and muggy side there. Skipping ahead a couple of days. Highs on Tuesday, a little cooler as those winds begin to switch out of the north. That's the new cold front dropping on through. Sticking around for Wednesday, highs in the 50s and 60s. Chances of rain remain in the Mid-South right on in through Wednesday and finally start to clear out of the picture as we get into Thursday. High temperatures on Thursday, much more comfortable back into the mid to upper 50s. and Looking very nice there. 60 degrees on Thursday out toward Tupelo. Want to see more about the forecast? All you have to do is go to WREG.com slash weather and you can pick up more on our exclusive seven to ten day forecast it's all available again right there want to touch on this for just a little bit and this is absolutely important to talk about because a lot of people getting the wrong ideas about this there's rumors going around that the department of defense is working with so-called antifa organizations or anti-fascist organizations to shut down the power grid and to cause mass confusion panic hysteria all kinds of stuff like that not the case, not even close to being the case at this time. What is going to be happening is the Department of Defense will be working with amateur radio operators to practice for a disaster drill. This is going to be a great opportunity to work out the kinks beforehand. It starts today, goes through tomorrow, and heads right into early Monday morning. It's a worst case scenario. What could happen? Let's get prepared for this thing before anything goes on. So if you'd like to know more about this, or more importantly, what you can do to get ready for this, and here's the key thing. Lots of things can be done. Communications plan with your family. First aid kit, uh, extra money, medication, ready to go, water, food for, again, an extended period of time something to think about that you might need, uh, so being able to communicate with your family otherwise. The DOD and several other places are working together with amateur radio operators to make certain that you can be prepared for severe weather and earthquakes and, God forbid, like a terrorist attack or anything like that. If you'd like to know more about this or how you can get your amateur radio license, all you have to do is go to helloradio.org or to ARRL.org, the American Radio Relay League, and you can find out more about what amateur radio is, how you can get your license. It's really easy. You don't need to know Morse code anymore. You can learn it, but it's not a requirement for the license. And if you'd like to know more, emergencyradio.org and the emergency, Amateur Radio Emergency Service. So once again, for this weekend, it is not a sinister plot. The DOD is not shutting down the power grid. They are practicing communications techniques if and when something goes wrong and working out what could happen before something happens. If a major solar storm hit the planet, it's a good possibility we could see some major communications problems. And now, when nothing is happening, is the time to get ready for stuff like that. Something to think about there. If you can, tune in throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and I'll keep you updated on what's going on with the forecast throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. i got to get back out on set for the last weathercast for the morning 
hours for daybreak, so stay tuned for more there. Again, more information available at wreg.com slash weather and also, again, available on all these social media networks. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend. And thanks for joining me for Saturday morning's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3.